Till the medicine shows back in town. Medicine shows back in town. Every girl that can wants to travel with the band. Medicine shows back in town. Every girl that can wants to travel with the band. Medicine shows back in town. Oh, yes, the medicine shows back in town. <laughs> Thousands of traveling salesmen crisscross the country selling their wares, but there are very few like the pitchman you've just heard, Doc Tommy Scott. He mesmerizes the crowds just talking about snake oil. He's been operating the old-time medicine show for almost 50 years, hitting 350 towns a year. 350 towns a year for almost 50 years. That's that, sadly some, huh? That must <laughs> give you the distinction as the longest playing, most wide-ranging stage show in the country. The Smithsonian Institute down in Washington took a very thorough study, and mm -hmm. a seven-year study, and of all the tab shows, medicine shows, and so on, they say that the Doc Tommy Scott Medicine Show has been in more different the, the key word is more different towns than any show on earth how did you get started doing this well there's an old medicine a uh, man came to my hometown in Tacoa, georgia mm -hmm. and th this was way back uh, almost 50 years ago and he had started what is now my show in 1890 he came to town i took my guitar down over my shoulder and picked him a number and he needed a performer you see the idea of the medicine show you got to put on an act put on, do some performing, get the people up close so you can sell them. So he was looking for an uh, entertainer, so he hired me $6 a week, and I slept in the wagon, and that's how I got started. And you've been doing it ever since? He gave me the formula to the snake oil <laughs> <laughs> and the Herbalac. And uh, so I have continued to carry the show on to carry. It's a lost uh, art every place up except on my show. How many people do you now have traveling with you? Oh, well, now, you see, I'm a one-man show here today, you see. Yeah. But we have uh, on the show about 18 different acts. That's Annie Oakley, sharpshooting acts, you know, like the old, old-time Annie Oakley uh, Wild West shows used to have. And then we have banjo picking, bluegrass music, and up to the modern type uh, uh, a country, like up in like Alabama and these type acts with the band and so on. And then we also have uh, a comedy acts and do the medicine show bits and comedy bits and so on. Old Bleb is my sidekick for 35 years and uh, he uh, drinks a bottle of, the, of fake medicine and goes nuts on the stage. That's a lot, a lot of uh, excitement. You now, know. speaking of <laughs> fake medicine, what's in that bottle? Well, now this is huh? the this is the real thing here, really. <laughs> <laughs> this is for real. You're old being doc, pitched, folks. <laughs> all right, the old doctor put this together in 1890, and it's an old Indian Cherokee Indian formula. And what it is, it's camphor. And it's turpentine, camphor and turpentine, and pure grain alcohol made from corn. That's to make it penetrate, and that's the way it started. Now, of course, we've updated it as years have gone by, and it has now 10 ingredients. And it's a good rumble on liniment, you see, for arthritis. And Can you drink it? Uh, oh, my goodness, no, you <laughs> dare not drink it. No, no, but it is good. It's a good, it's a good, uh, you know, uh, uh, joggers that run in there, especially older ones that's so sore they can't get up the next morning while well, you just rub down with a bottle of snake oil after you get through jogging and take a hot shower and rub down and boy nobody can catch you the next morning you're okay sounds <laughs> like my grandmother she used to have a horse liniment that she put on us when we were kids you know i've been asked that before and this act no, no, no kidding that this is this is for real back in those days you see the indians you didn't have all these uh, different uh, medicines that you mm -hmm. have now and antibiotics and so on so if an, a horse got a sore where he's been pulling with uh, you know the collar wore a bad place well they they would use this liniment and and it would do the job nature's own remedy is what it was and that's the only thing they had to doctor with in those days and people still buy this i'll tell you now we got to be honest about this we charge admission now the old timey shows did not charge admission yeah. it was a free show and yeah. you had to put on a good enough show where they'd buy the stuff so right. you could pay the bills you see well now though we do we do charge to get in but we still pitch the medicine very seriously uh, like uh, it, uh, it's, it's almost a part of a religion the old timey medicine business was years ago and they were very serious and we are and when we do the pitch that's the first thing we do on the Tommy Scott Medicine Show is very seriously I take my hat off and talk to them just like in the living room because television's updated the whole thing but the old timers they were the ones that used to romp back and forth to cross the platform and jump up and down and scream and holler you see. Well why don't we see a bit of the pitch? Oh the pitch like they used yeah, to do it? the real years. thing. Well, the, the one you do. All right. <laughs> well, the, the old timers, what they used to do, uh, Pam, they would 
to get the crowd up, they'd do a little magic and then uh, to gather the crowd in close. See, you couldn't sell, you couldn't sell some guy sitting the wheel across the street a bottle of the stuff uh, under a shade tree. You had to get them up close. In order to do that, they'd get softer and softer and softer. Down they'd go with their voices, you know. And then the old doctor reached down and he'd pick up his bottle of stuff and almost scare them to death by saying, hey, hey! this away, Doc Scott's last real all-time medicine show. And now if you're feeling down and out and you don't know what to do and it seems the world's done crushed you and your friends turn their back on you, nature's pathway to health will help you. Try a bottle of the snake oil today. Rub it on as it's plainly directed and it'll chase your aches and pains away. A little small rubbing in the morning, another noon and night. Why you'll feel so well, you'll want to yell. Woo! The stuff will make you right. Made out of herbs, roots, barks, and oozes. Gathered from many parts of the globe and blend it into one mild but gentle liniment. It's good for the entire family. And there goes a bottle to the right, another one to the left, and another one over here to Pam and the old doctor. Done sold out. <laughs> I'll take a dozen. Dog Tommy Scott of the Old Time Medicine Show. He's on the road, so watch out for him. Canada Aim will be right back, all fixed up. Guaranteed to make it feel fine. 